We're just hours away from the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden. Expect full coverage of tomorrow's events. And here's a live look at the U.S. Capitol building. Tens of thousands of National Guard troops are now on patrol. All of this while Biden fills his cabinet choices, five of them going through Senate confirmation today. Team coverage tonight at 6, a former Secret Service agent talks about what it's like to be elite. But first, let's check in with Haley Mason in downtown Atlanta at our capital where military vehicles are standing by and ready, Haley. Rick, they're standing by, they're ready, and they've also been parked on the very front steps of the state capitol. This has been the scene here for several days now. All in preparation for tomorrow's inauguration, the troops here are not taking for granted that the weekend was quiet. They're ready to protect this area against anything that may be other than peaceful. Inside the state capitol today, only a small group of lawmakers gathered for budget hearings, most attending virtually for the week. Outside, several state National Guard troops and Capitol Police watching in armor and protective gear. I feel real safe. I, I, I mean, we, we have the, the great uh, Capitol Police here, and then we have the State Patrol, we have National Guard, and uh, our men and women are doing their job and protecting us. Barricades are linked all around the Atlanta City Hall, and parking is limited around the building. Today, two U.S. Army National Guard members have been removed from the security mission for President-elect Biden's inauguration after being found to have ties to far-right militia groups. Governor Kemp, speaking to Fox News this afternoon, defended Georgia's troops in response to another lawmaker criticizing the lack of diversity in the groups. He doesn't know the Georgia National Guard like I do. Th these are good people. Th these are these are your friends and your neighbors. You know, I've seen a lot about the vetting process as well. That is a normal process that goes on that a even even Major General Tom Carden, our tag has to go through. Meanwhile, in Gwinnett County, the sheriff's office saying they're looking into threats of extremist driven riotous activity. The messages distributed in email and text are from groups claiming to be Gwinnett law enforcement. The sheriff's office today says the messages did not come from them and they're investigating. And right now, security is ramping up. You can't see it, but above head here, the National Guard helicopter is circling the Capitol and City Hall area. I checked in with the FBI this afternoon. They tell me that still to this hour, there are no credible or substantiated threats in Georgia, but their command post will be up through Inauguration Day. Reporting live outside the state Capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.